I'ma treat you like I got nothing left to live for. I'ma play some. Hey, what's up, guys? This is your power back again. So I got a question from one of my friend. Okay, so where he says, you know, how do you avoid protein fats? Okay, so my take on this is, you know, protein is a is a good detoxifier. It's an immune uh, simulator. You know, it raises insulin very fast, and you know, but the problem with you know proteins is, you know, they have this inflammatory or uh, amino acids called. Uh, cysteine and methotheinine okay so you actually the thing is you don't need protein in excess if you know that protein is a building block rather than you know uh, it's a fuel so people what they tend to do is they, they put scoops and scoops of protein or they put you know you know they eat a lot of chicken okay so, uh, so you all don't need protein in excess you all need protein to just build the muscles okay when you try to turn protein into fuel you know trust me your liver and kidney won't say thank you to you okay and there's one more thing about it okay there's this one more protein called collagen protein okay so that's you know no one knows about it but all these pro people use it you know all these exports and you know biohackers use it because collagen protein has this thing called glycine and you know collagen protein is really good for you it's good for your joints and it really absorbs really well and on top of that if you know uh, our body, our skin is made of collagen, our nails are made of collagen, you know, it's made of, made of collagen protein, our hair is made of collagen protein. So try taking collagen protein and don't try to take excessive of protein. Take protein which is, you know, which will help you build your muscle rather than, you know, what people tend to do is they try to take excessive of protein and they, you know, then your body tries to burn them as fuel. Guys, no. Proteins is a building block. It help you. It helps you repair your muscle. It's not used as fuel. Carbs and fats are used as fuel. So guys, use you know, don't take excessive of protein. And there's one more thing. Okay, you go in the market. You go in any you know protein shop. All these big brands. Okay, so when they prepare protein. Okay, so they prepare from you know, fermented milk and you know, does a lot of bad things. Okay, people who really care about their gut health. Try to take collagen protein and make sure take a good quality protein because you never know you get bags and bags of protein and those are made from you know really bad fermented milk so try to take protein which is made from fresh milk and which is really good for you and organic okay because that will help you you know stop your inflammation and everything and there's one more thing in collagen protein it's called as cholesterol okay that's mother's milk okay so it really absorbs really well so this is my take on you know protein fats okay so if you want to have if you want to avoid protein fats okay don't try to eat excessive of protein try to you know try to have a lot of fibers a lot of vegetables and a lot of fats and carbs and don't try to take excessive of protein your body requires you know protein just to build muscle rather than to use it as fuel and if you see all these bodybuilders they try to put tons and tons of protein and these protein fats are really bad for you and even excessive of protein is really bad for your kidney and liver a really good alternative is you know collagen protein if you don't know about it if you want to learn about it just google it you know it's available about in the market okay awesome your power signing off